Hello, uh, I am Dr. Sandeep Pal, consultant uh, gastroenterologist in RN Tagore Hospital, Kolkata. So, the topic of our discussion today is uh, GERD. GERD, uh, the full form is gastroesophageal reflux disease. So, first of all, to start with, uh, what is GERD? So, gastroesophageal ref reflux disease, it's an the definition is any reflux which gives troublesome symptom is called is known as GERD. So, a, otherwise, reflux occurs in all of us after eating. If you eat, uh, like if the uh, if overeating is there, then certain amount of food always comes out to the esophagus. But if it is not causing any problem, then we don't label it as GERD. But any reflux that causes troublesome symptoms is called is defined as a gastroesophageal reflux disease. Second, it, this can be two types. One is erosive reflux disease, and another is non erosive reflux disease. Erosive means due to the reflux, due to the acid, there are some ulcerations in the esophagus. And non erosive means there are no ulcerations, only the patient has symptoms, but when you do an endoscopy, there is no ulcerations found in the uh, esophagus. So, what are the causes of gastroesophageal reflux disease? There are usually three uh, usual causes of gastroesophageal reflux disease, like if the lower esophageal sphincter of the esophagus is very lax, then uh, reflux can occur. If there is a hiatus hernia, then reflux can occur. Or if there is hyperacidity, then uh, reflux can occur. And uh, so, um, how do you diagnose uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease? To diagnose gast uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease is usually a clinical diagnosis. That means based on the patient's symptoms and based on the patient's finding, uh, clinical examination we can diagnose gastroesophageal reflux disease and uh, if in certain cases if the patient has trouble some symptoms retrosternal chest pain then we need to do endoscopy or if the patient has got uh, alarm features like if the patient has got hematemesis or uh, some uh, dysphagia difficulty in swallowing or painful swallowing then in certain cases if the patient is above 45 years mm -hmm. of age we order endoscopy for the diagnosis of the disease so and uh, what are the symptoms symptoms as i have told uh, the patient will develop uh, the patient may have uh, retrosternal heartburn the patient may have water brush the patient may, that means increased salivation there may be some sour taste in the uh, sour or bitter taste in the mouth and uh, retrosternal pain epigastric pain and uh, the sensation of always something coming up uh, in the mouth so now next coming to management Management of gastroesophageal reflux disease, usually uh, there are two things to manage. First is the medical management and surgical management. Surgical management is very rarely required. Main is medical management. And in the medical management, first is lifestyle modifications. There are certain causes which are associated with GERD, like obese. People who are very obese, they develop uh, reflux mode. So control of obesity, weight loss. And then the next is lifestyle uh, management, like uh, we have to consider we have to concentrate on the diet of the patient what type of diet uh, the patient is on there are few food items which causes more reflux like uh, um, increase uh, intake of coffee milk tea uh, then increase intake of peppermint and uh, fatty food because fatty food decreases the stomach uh, it increases the gastric uh, emptying time so that is more reflux with fatty food so we should advise the patient to avoid these kinds of uh, food uh, then smoking, alcohol, painkillers, NSAIDs, this all predispose to gastroesophageal reflux disease. And we should always avoid lying down immediately after food. First of all, you should avoid overeating. Next is, you should immediately avoid drinking too much water uh, with the, uh, along with the meal. And we should advise the patients to uh, avoid lying down immediately after food. Then there are certain medicines also which causes a lot of reflux in elderly patients who are for osteoporosis, alendronate, that is type of medicines which increases the gastroesophageal reflux disease. So we have to find out these causes and accordingly treat. In the medicinal management, uh, there are drugs. If it is due to hyperacidity, we have to give uh, proton pump inhibitors or H2 receptor blockers to decrease the acid level so the reflux is decreased. Second, uh, there are a there are role of prokinetics. We have to give prokinetics to the patient so that uh, esophageal increase, the movement of the esophagus increases. There is more increased esophageal clearance. So there are a lot of drugs in prokinetics like etopride, levosulpride, this type of drugs we can prescribe. Then sometimes the baclofen uh, is used uh, for, uh, for uh, muscle, uh, for uh, 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 control of gastroesophageal reflux disease. So, and this is the medical management for surgical management. 
sometimes in those type of patients who have a big hiatus hernia or in those type of patients who have very lax lower esophageal sphincter they may require some fundoplication surgeries but it's very rare if we do surgery also some symptoms usually recur after 5 to 10 years so very rarely nowadays we uh, offer surgery unless the patient is not having any complication like stricture so what are the complications of GRD? The main complication of GRD is Barrett's esophagus. Barrett's esophagus is a condition where the esophageal mucosa changes into the gastric type and if it remains for a long time, this uh, mucosa can become dysplastic and malignancy can occur uh, due to Barrett's esophagus. But Barrett's esophagus fortunately is rare in India but nowadays we are seeing few cases, it's most, mostly a disease of the whites, Barrett's esophagus. So again the treatment for Barrett's esophagus is again acid suppression. Uh, term uh, PPI should be given to the patient and uh, if the patient uh, and yearly surveillance should be done uh, we have to take a biopsy from the lower uh, esophageal uh, mucosa and see whether the patient has dysplastic mucosa next another complication which fortunately is again rare nowadays is a peptic stricture which you used to see earlier peptic stricture may uh, can develop into increased reflux of acid so if there is peptic stricture, it can be dilated with the endoscopic procedures or if the, if the stricture is very resistant to dilatation, the patient may require surgery. So this is in gist about the management of GRD, but uh, uh, above all these things, I would like to say lifestyle management would be the main uh, uh, management protocol for the treatment of gastroesophageal reflux disease.